What's going on everybody, C4 here. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you, as of right now, my Madden 21 franchise settings and sliders as Matt 10 sliders over on operationsports.com have dropped for all Madden and all pro difficulties. And I'm gonna be showing you those sliders. I'm gonna be showing you uh, the XP sliders that I've, I've found a real good money zone for so far and I've been able to pick up and work on and tweak through the four rebuilds that we've done on the channel. But I will pander for likes as well. It's my birthday. I'm turning 28. Very old. So likes on your birthdays always helps the video out just a little bit. Uh, and what better way? It wouldn't be 2020 and your birthday on a day that's supposed to be happy that I wouldn't get a tweet like this on Twitter. Put it up. Put, put, it, put it over here somewhere. Put it, put it over here somewhere. So Moonlight Swami, Swami, who is now a member, was and still is, but started out as a franchise YouTuber, then went on to work for EA, and so works there, basically made a tweet or replied to a tweet saying, hey, probably wait for the first big patch that is coming at some point this week, later this week, before starting your franchise modes, because he cannot confirm or deny that the new features, the new patches, the new content, the stuff that they're supposedly trying to recommit into franchise mode here in Madden 21 will work with existing franchises. So he basically said, hey, just hold off and wait. So that's what we're gonna have to do here for Detroit. There's gonna be no Lions franchise videos until that first big patch. I'm not gonna wait for every single patch. There's a chance that the patch that we get in, you know, in September, at the end of September, or the beginning of November, completely just ruins franchise mode again and won't pre you know won't work with pre-existing franchise and that'll be just something we deal with but the fact that we're only two weeks in to the lines franchise uh it, it's not too much work for me to get back behind the scenes to this week three game with the cardinals now the interception number i'll make sure we win and lose the first two weeks i'll try and get the stats to be uh, as close as we can get maybe we won't replicate the five interceptions from that week two 30 to 22 loss against green bay but, I'll, you know, it's, it's the same kind of thing we had to do last year in Madden 20 with the Raiders, where the first big title update had superstar abilities for offensive linemen. And to get that in your franchise modes, you had to restart because it didn't apply to re-existing ones. So, um, I mean, I guess in a way, there, there's a small silver lining in that, hey, we're getting a franchise update in the <laughs> at the end of the week. Who knows what features are going to be coming in as it looks to be, uh, as of today, another uprising on social media uh, not fish, fish, hashtag fix Madden franchises, hashtag NFL drop EA or something crazy like that. People are just not happy whatsoever. And when it comes to my channel, yeah, again, you can just see the frustration come out, especially in the rebuilds. But we're, you know, it's Madden 21 season. We got to try and make the best out of it this year. I like to keep, you know, making Madden content for you guys. And, you know, it's, Let's just keep on keeping on. So we're about three minutes in. All that hoopla is out of the way. What I will be able to work on, though, while I'm not recording lines, is I'm gonna just I'm gonna I'm gonna complete this draft class. Like right now, I uh, originally when I when I said I have this draft class done, I just had all seven rounds done with the players. Now, like for right now, all I did today was I made all like the UDFAs and stuff like that for every offensive position. So I mean, I you know for what it is for how many of you guys that actually are on PC. Uh, I will say pound for pound, if you're comparing this PC, Xbox, you're not going to find a more in-depth draft class than the work that I put out there. And that is patting myself on my on my back. But it, it's just, it just is what it is. But sliders and settings. So yes, I will start with the XP sliders because I have kind of showed this before. Uh, they essentially are the sliders that are carrying over from Madden at 20 with some slight tweaking. But this right now, so far, I've been getting very, very good results uh, in my franchise modes, in my rebuilds. Uh, so you definitely want to go heavy on the tight end. Again, offensive line, you're going to want to boot all these ones. Again, it's probably easiest just to pause the video and then uh, just, you know, if you want to use these sliders, write them down or, or have it synced up on your own TV with your own franchise at your XP sliders menu. Uh, the only thing I'm not exactly sure on this year is I feel like linebackers might need a little bit of boost. Sitting at 100, well, linebackers have been developing a little bit slower. Nothing too, too crazy. But I, I will say linebackers and corners have been the only two positions that, like, you know, keeping QBs at default has been money. Uh, I don't know. If, if I do tweak it, I will let you know. But these are the XP sliders. Now, let's take a look at Matt 10's all Madden sliders for gameplay. 
All right, here are the gameplay sliders. Now, I will say that it's still very early in Madden, and there will probably be 10 revisions of these sliders. But these right now are the trusted sliders that I've used for the last two Maddens, and this is the first version of them. And here we go. So for player skill, we got, I guess, Matt Den was coming out and saying that he does like default for a lot of these. And we kept all of our offensive sliders so far through two episodes on 50-50. The only thing we dumped down was catching to a 48 interceptions down to a 40 and tackling to a 46 on the computer side a lot of 50 50 again still knocking down wide receiver catching to 48 interceptions to 35 intercept like easily the number one thing on all madden that is just ridiculous is the interceptions there is no way on these interceptions that you're getting these dbs that are pretty much running the route better than my wide receiver i mean it's always this issue in madden in all madden is interceptions are high it punishes you but a little too much, a little too frequently. Like, you know, when I'm Kenny Galladay and I'm just getting burned by Kevin King consistently, like in that power game, we threw five picks. And how many times was it, you know, Jair Alexander, their legit superstar X Factor making a play? Not a whole lot. I'd say out of those five picks, maybe two, you could argue three, but I would say two were bad throws. Really, really bad throws got hit, uh, forced to pass. But then the other two or three, depending on you want to break, were just like, yeah, you know. A little, a little too finicky for me. So one thing I personally uh, think I don't like, and I will change right now, just to give you know props to Matt Ten. These are his sliders. I personally like the pass defense reaction time at 45 right now. Uh, he has said that pass coverage, if this is at one or 99 from his testing, does not make a difference. But for me, just you know, throwing the ball is too hard on all Matt. It's not. It's supposed to be a challenge. I'm not supposed to have. You know, 35 touchdowns, 4,500 yards automatically with Matt Stafford. But it just feels a little too cheesy, a little too tough for my really good players to get separation against average defensive backs. So these are the sliders that I'm using. When it comes to special teams, uh, I don't know if you guys... I, I, it's one of the things I always disagree on with the talk community sliders is the accuracy. I feel like consistently the AI, be it on rookie or all Madden, will just shank you know any field goal between 40 and 49 yards i i think it's super frustrating kind of kills the immersion a little bit so i always go a little bit higher on my field goal accuracy so we have 70 power 65 on the accuracy 55 punt 45 accuracy here uh for injuries i personally have mine at 12 and the matt 10 slider said it was 15 you just you know i haven't, haven't seen really any crazy injury ah, you know what we'll go with 15 if that's the top set we'll go 15 he upped the fatigue from 50 to 60 just so it's a little bit more punishing when you have that breakoff run for a running back or a wide receiver that just had a 65 yard. It, it has a little bit more rotation to your lineup. Uh, speed threshold, he actually bumped his from 50 to 60. This is one that I, you know, I always kind of like fast players fueling and playing a little bit faster. Maybe this is something too that would help with uh, the ability to get separation. So I'm actually going to knock this back down and keep it at base value 50. I think there's actually enough struggle for my really good players getting separation that I don't need to make it that much more. Hey, let's just throw all the speed out and try to make it a little bit more balanced. I think 50, you know, 50 is good for me when it comes to the penalties here. This is something that he has always stated that penalties affect the gameplay. I've never personally understood it, but I've never had any validity to disagree with it. So I kind of just trust the guy who's this, you know, the sliders player. Uh, so he up false start to 55. So it's a little bit more frequently up DPI to a 60 one thing he did was he dumbed down rubbing the passer from 50 to a 40 he said this seemed to increase the aggressiveness of ai defensive players and you always kind of want that and he suggested turning off the roughing the kicker penalty as it was just far too frequently in his testing so these are the sliders obviously i've only had you know a game or two to test this behind the scenes it it felt good and it's more so it's coming from a trusted source and this is what we're starting out with so if you are on All Madden, these are my sliders, very, very slightly tweaked from Matt 10s. He also has what uh, valuables and variables you should use if you're playing on All Pro, but I'm going to let him get a little bit of clout there. Go search it. Just straight up type in Matt 10s Madden 21 sliders. It'll take you to the Operation Sports Forum where it has all the stuff for you guys to use. So those are our sliders. Those are our XP sliders, and this is officially putting a slight pause on the Detroit Lions franchise until we figure out what this Madden title update is exactly going to be. Like, I'm going to be pretty annoyed if it's just, 
you know, I, I wasn't personally talking with Swami, and I and I do, you know, we'll have, uh, you know, DMs and stuff talking. I, I didn't like he could just be saying that because he wants the roster updates, because you have a little bit more clarity about the final fifty three. Maybe that's why. But I, I, I just, I just would hate to, you know, get to like week seven, get ready for that Falcon game, and then they're saying, hey. You want to customize your X factors? Here's a brand new thing in franchise that you can't apply to re-existing modes. Or hey, you got like you know historical stat trackings now here, and all these improvements to AI. So I just don't want to get too far gone, and we're actually less further than where we were with the Raiders franchise when we had to kind of restart that behind the scenes in Madden 20. I think we were like week six, like we were a full episode ahead at this point. So that's kind of good news, and I, and I recommend everyone that's watching this, if you have already started your Madden franchise, maybe just pump the brakes a little bit, wait and see what this first big patch is going to be, and then I'd say just rock and roll, and hopefully they find a way to optimize these patches so they do apply to existing franchise. And for all we know, there could be a chance that whatever update comes at the end of this week will already you know retroactively apply to existing franchises, but I feel like if they were confident that that was the case, so mommy probably would just said, hey, just start it right now and don't worry about any of that. So little PSA for everybody about your franchise modes. Little update for the best all Madden slider set, I think, right now going. So check it out. Let me know how you feel about it. If there's anything personally in your sliders that you think is 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 better than what's going on in Matt 10, definitely let me know in the comment section below. But that does it for me. I'm gonna go, you know, have a little, have a little fun time now. So thank you guys for supporting. The support has been crazy. I know Madden 21, you know, the hype's not really there this year, but the channel has been doing very, very well. And I truly will take it because let's make it look serious. I truly do appreciate all the support so far. Like we've been getting, you know, between 1,000 and 500 brand new subs a day. All the videos have been doing very, very well. So morale, you know, mental health is strong right now on the channel and I appreciate it. So thank you guys for all the love and support. And I'll see you back here tomorrow with... Not Detroit Lions. I'm guessing I'm going to have to do some rebuilds and stuff like that. So we'll see you then. Peace out.